I'm doing my first ever empties video. I've been collecting empties since I would say the middle of November. Um, I'm planning on doing one uh, every few months or so so I can collect a good amount of stuff. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump into it. I went through so many candles over the past few months. If you remember from my mall haul, or I believe my holiday mall haul, I bought a ton of candles from Bath and Body Works. So um, we'll just jump into it. Technically, this one, it's called Holiday. Um, I didn't actually get it in that haul. This was purchased for me by my husband so long ago. Um, but I got it in like the middle of the summertime, so I waited to burn it until the holidays. It smells so good. It's very apple cinnamony captures the warmth and spices of the holidays with a special blend of cinnamon and clove highlighted by fresh bergamot. So it was a lovely candle to burn uh, over the holiday season. Next is another one that he purchased for me that I got over the summertime that I saved. It's flannel and it smells also of bergamot, mahogany, and a delicate veil of musk. So I burned these together a lot of the time. Uh, these are actual candles I did purchase in my mall haul. The first one being Frosted Cranberry. Oh, and just smelling it takes me back to when I was burning it nonstop. Oh, it is definitely very berry scented. You've got cranberry, you've got um, peach and raspberries. Next one is Twisted Peppermint. Now this was just a wonderful sweet peppermint smell to burn during the holidays. Um, it was husband approved. He doesn't like super um, strong smells, but this is like a sweet smell, but not like a sickeningly sweet cupcake or donut kind of candle smell. It was just really nice. Definitely smells just like a melted candy cane. And finally, I have Tis the Season. This might be the best one in my opinion. This also has um, like apple cinnamon, like with the holiday candle, but it also has pine. So you definitely get that pine smell. It's amazing. Oh, <laughs> I want it to be Christmas again already. So I've really been trying to go through my perfumes a lot. I kind of went through my perfumes and I realized I have way too much. So some of them were like really small containers. Like this came in a birch box. It is the Harvey Prince Hello Eau de Parfum. And it's very light and citrusy. I liked it, but I don't love it. Um, I just wanted to get through the sample. So I did, yay, it's empty. The next one is actually a Tory Birch scent and I don't know the name of it. I think it was actually a sample that was added to one of my Sephora bags. Um, and again, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. So that's why I just decided to use it all up and I'm not gonna be buying it. Now this one I found when I was doing the life-changing magic of tidying up. This is a Mary Kay perfume. It's called Bella Ballara and it was my signature scent my junior and senior years of high school, um, which were the years that I first started dating my first ever high school boyfriend who is now my husband. So when I smelt it, it just, it brought me back to all of those wonderful little high school romance memories of like the first time you you neck in the back seat of a car. And it's like fruity and florally and wonderful. This is a little um, rollerball wand. I really do want to get a full size of the bottle, which I had used up way back in the day. Um, and I just, I want I want to get it, but I need to get through the perfumes that I have before I get a full size of this. This is kind of cheap dish, but not really because it's empty. Um, it's a Dove bar, Dove white. Um, it's the rest of it is in the, I was going to say the fridge, but it's definitely not in the fridge. It's in the shower. So I am currently using this. I just want to let you guys know because when that's gone, there won't be an empty to show you because it's a bar of soap. <laughs> so I'm currently using this because I am all out of my Dove body washes. So the first one I went through was the Dove Gentle Exfoliating Body Wash, which was nice. It has little exfoliating beads in it, but I use a loofah, so I thought it was kind of redundant to have a loofah and exfoliating beads. Next is the Dove Winter Care. So I purchased this one after because I'm thinking it's probably going to be thicker, more nourishing for the winter time when my skin does get really dry. Um, so it did and it suited me. It was just fine, but 
I really want, I'm kind of in the mood for like a really fun smelling body wash. Next is a nail polish remover. This is CVS Pharmacy Strengthening Polish Remover. Um, I do like the formula. It actually, I feel like it does really strengthen your nails, um, whereas some nail polish removers might dry them out. This does not. It says it has gelatin in it, so. <laughs> this is an empty up and up um, cotton round package. Um, I've basically been using these for freaking ever. I go through at least three or four of them every single day because I use them with my eye makeup remover. I use them with my simple micellar water. This is a travel size of the Neutrogena makeup remover towelettes. I love them so much. They're very nourishing. They do not dry out your skin as you remove the makeup. Although I'm not a kind of person who will just say, it's okay if you just remove your makeup and that's fine. Um, in my how to get clear skin video that I posted like six months ago. Um, I did say that if you are super, super lazy and the only thing you can do at the end of the day is take your makeup off, then okay. But it's definitely not a thing that should be a habit. Um, these other two are Equaline makeup remover wipes that I get from my grocery store. They're about a dollar cheaper. Um, these are the full size ones. I don't love them the formula and even the towelette is thinner and it's not as soft. Eye health. If you watched my Contacts 101 video, you know that I typically use the OptiFree Replenish Advanced, no, Enhanced Comfort Contact Solution. So I've got a couple of these that are empty. And then I also have BioTrue, which was a sample given to me by my optometrist. And this is pretty good too, but TBH, they all feel exactly the same to me. So I have since repurchased one of these, but in a bigger size. Another Dove product. I use a lot of Dove. I didn't even realize that. This is Dove Go Fresh Restore Blue Fig and Orange Blossom Scent 48 Hour Protection um, Antiperspirant and Deodorant. Um, I do like Dove deodorants. I actually have another one that I've been trying to use up, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go the whole natural deodorant route. I want to get an aluminum free deodorant because this has aluminum and I know that that's bad for you for some reason. If you know the reason, let me know in the comments because I should be aware of that. All right, next are shaving creams. So this one is the EOS shaving cream. And let me just say, I absolutely hated it so much. Um, I have never hated a shaving cream. Normally it's like, oh, whatever. It's a shaving cream. Hated it. Um, basically I had to pump it like a million freaking times to get enough product to cover just my lower legs, just my lower legs. It was like 10 pumps. And the problem with this pump is like, it didn't come back up quick enough, I'd have to push it and then like pull the pump back up. So I am never, ever, ever, ever getting this again. I do not recommend it. So that's it for trying out different shaving creams because I've been using Skintimit, Skintimit for ever. I'm pretty sure ever since I started shaving, I use Skintimit. Um, and I kind of switch up my scent. It depends on what I'm in the mood for, but this is the Strawberry Tangerine Twist and it comes out as a gel. So it's a gel to foam formula, whereas this one is just foam, um, foaminess. So, and this is not a pump. You literally just hold it down and it all comes out. Um, um, yay. I went through a whole container of lotion. Lotion is another thing that I'm actively trying to work through because I feel like I have a lot of it and I used to hardly ever use lotion, but now that I know that I have so much of it, I've been moisturizing like crazy. So the winter candy apple is such a wonderful scent for the holiday time of year. So I was really working hard to get rid of it because I just, I don't know, now I'm in the mood for like flowery and fruity smells because I'm hoping that that will make spring come faster because that's logical, right? Also from Bath & Body Works, we have foaming hand soaps. This is the Japanese cherry blossom, which is just a very popular scent. I love the Japanese cherry blossom scent, as well as two containers of white citrus. White citrus is another one of my favorite um, Bath & Body Works scents, and it's just so refreshing. It's really good in the kitchen, and it's just an all-around wonderful scent. Very lemony and fresh. All right, I have a couple makeup items to share with you. Um, so first of all, I have these two 
samples of Urban Decay Shadow Primer, Eyeshadow Primer, Primer Potion. Yes, thank you. Wow. Eyeshadow Primer Potion. One of them is anti-aging and the other is original. And it made me fall in love again with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I have a whole container of Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I used to like more and now I like this more. This stuff works really well. The anti-aging, I would say, since it's creamier, I feel like it doesn't really work as well as the original. Um, I also had the one that was nude that came in here, so I have this whole thing, but I think I threw the other ones away. Um, I had nude and sin, which was the shimmery one which I really liked. You could just put that on its own. And I believe I used it in my holiday makeup tutorial. So Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer is, it's an amazing formula. And once my Too Faced Shadow Insurance runs out, I'm definitely purchasing a full size of this. The Benefit Sugar Bomb Blush. Um, it's gone in the pan. This whole kit came with other things, but I haven't used up all of those. But I did use up the blush. Um, it was a really nice shimmery, corally peach color, and it was wonderful for the spring and summertime. I really, really liked it, but I have another blush that is kind of similar. It's a L'Oreal blush that's kind of that shimmery, peachy, coral color. So I won't be repurchasing this. Uh, actually, I won't ever be repurchasing this whole little Sugarlicious kit. Um, I just don't see any reason for it. But if I want a Benefit blush, then uh, I really like the Sugar Bomb. Finally, we have a couple of skincare items. The first one I want to talk about is the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water, which I've already repurchased. And my repurchase is almost gone. I love this stuff. Um, I really like it for after you use a makeup wipe. This just continues to get everything off your face um, and you don't have to wash it off so it's just your best like lazy girl product. I think it was in my July favorites last year. Alright the next one is Neutrogena Ageless Intensives Deep Wrinkle Moisturizer Night Cream. Um, I love this stuff so it's got retinol in it. If you're sensitive to retinol you would use it maybe every couple nights or every other night. I was able, I had built it up where I could use it every night and it made my skin feel wonderful the next morning and I really think that it helped with my breakouts. Uh, funny story, I did repurchase this but it comes in a box, you see? So I come home and I open the box and what do you know, there's a St. Ives body lotion stuffed in the box instead of my night cream and I was just so like thrown that, I don't know, I of course had thrown out my receipt because I never keep receipts. Uh, I hate going back and returning things. So I didn't go and try and return it and now I'm using a whole other skincare line that is at my work, which um, depending on how I like it in a couple more weeks, I will discuss that with you guys. Oh, but actually I guess I can discuss it a little bit. I have the um, container of salicylic acid. It's not pure salicylic acid, of course. It's 2% salicylic acid. So there's a little container of um, little pads that you pour this into and the pads soak it all up. So this is Zio Skin Health by Zane Obaji. And he is, this is a medical grade skincare line that you can only get at like your dermatologist's office or a medical spa like where I work. And yeah, I've been using um, ZO for about a week now. So this is the only empty I have, but that's only because you poured this entire container into the little pad container. But I just wanted to, I guess it's sort of a sneak peek for you guys um, to share with you that in the future, I will be talking a little bit more about this product and line of products. That's it. Oh my gosh. Those are my empties. I can't believe I'm finally, I finally finished this video. All right, you guys. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like me doing empties videos, give this a thumbs up. If you like chocolate and pizza, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys like me, um, subscribe to my channel. That would make me so happy. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.